Good morning everyone, this is Lord Holland and today we are reviewing the Tier 8 Premium <clears throat> Premium French Destroyer La Terrible. Now La Terrible is one of the is like is the fastest tier eight destroyer in the game. Fastest one in the game. So with her Bonus package, five per without the contributor flag, like always. Always assume you don't have a contributor flag. Uh, five percent to credits, fifty-five to ship XP. Sixty. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of trouble in the math. Sixty-five to commander XP, and then fifty percent with the bonus package, and fifty percent with the clan. So it always helps to be in a clan, always, because otherwise you're not going to be making hardly anything with the bonus package. Now, armor-wise, 19 millimeter armor all along the side, and uh, just 13 millimeter. So she does take a lot of damage, but that's why she has speed to counteract that. Survivability-wise, 21,800. Now I am running the legendary commander uh, Philippe Antibodoni with the enhanced survivability, survivability skill. So it always is going to be a little bit bigger. So let's just say 21,000 without the skill. So, but again, between the enhanced skill and the normal skill, there's not a huge difference. So you're not losing, like, a lot. Now, artillery-wise, this is a gunboat build, or, or a gunboat in general. So, she gets five 139mm guns and five mounts. So two in the front, and then three in the back. Uh, max range of 12 point two or twelve point three sorry and I'm um, reload so without any gun skills or anything it has a base reload of five seconds minimum switch of five seconds eighteen seconds for a 180 uh, max dispersion 100 millimeters and a 12.3 kilometer range HE damage and the AP velocity are same velocity at 840 HE damage 2,000, max fire chance, 10%, armor pin, 23%, or 23 millimeters, max damage for the AP is 2,700. Now you can, if you get broadside in destroyers, or cruisers with this destroyer, you can citadel them with the AP. So don't be afraid to citadel broadside cruisers with the AP. Torpedo power, she gets 9 torp tubes. One in the middle, or one kind of in the rear, and then two on each side, or three on each side. So, yeah, as you can see, they're right there. So, the torps have a six second 180, a little under a minute and a half for reload, eight kilometer range, and a 65 n minimum knot. Of course, this can always be upgraded higher if you want to spec into it. Depth charge wise, two charges, six bombs in each charge, 40 second reload time, and 3400 max down. So, you know, I, I believe that's pretty a average for a destroyer. So, again, AA, absolutely nothing. She gets one browning, two times two, uh, 13 millimeter machine guns. One 37 millimeter machine gun, and then two times two 37 millimeter. Pitiful damage at 43 continuous and a three kilometer range. So, uh, if the carrier wants to really strike you, they can. Again, your only defense, like with any French ship, is the speed. Now, 43 minimum not, 43 minimums, f f bleh, sorry, 43 knots is the minimum speed, 43, or 44 with a speed flag, and then 690 turning circle radius with a 3.4 um, rudder shift, and a 6.7 minimum detectability at C. So, fairly decent. You could still stealth torp. 
Now, what else can I do? That now? I don't want to. I don't want to waste money to respect my captain. But um, the replay isn't my own. I actually got the sent in by Roll Katsuki, one of my good friends on Discord. Really nice guy. Really nice to play with. He, he has an un or he has a ta he has a he uses unorthodox tactics with these ships. But you know, I run mine. This is a standard build. Okay? So main armaments one, engine room protection, aiming systems, steering gears, and concealment. For the consumables, repair party. Main battery reload booster and engine boost. So you can you can have you can have the bleh. So again, since I don't have full twenty one, you know I'd always have sub survivability. I sub super superintendent. Sorry. So I get four engine boosts and five main battery re reload boosters. Now I'm gonna let you know offhand that this was not what Katsuki was using by far he was using a lighthouse build so he would have been using preventative maintenance last stand a uh, survivability expert fearless brawler so let's add that up so I don't lose my track of my math so last stand is one Or preventative maintenance in the last stand are one and two. Survivability expert three. Fearless brawler four. Adrenaline rush three. And then, well, main battery AA expert plus four. And then AA battery and AA specialist plus three. That leaves you with 20 points. So, what would you want to use? Well, uh, consumable specialist for the reduced cooldown on your main battery reload booster. So that is a lighthouse build and a Laterable. And I think and from what he sent me, it is very effective. So I would honestly say that that is a very probable build. I think that build would work phenomenal. Phenomenal. In clan battles, absolutely. I think that would work great in this upcoming season of clan battles being tier 8 to tier 9. I think that would work great, absolutely. Because then you could put it on the flank with like a Carnot or a French cruiser and just hold down that whole flank. There's nothing they could do. You could just spam them from range. And then you could back cap them. But I think a uh, lighthouse build, a terrible would be really would be really interesting in this up up this bleh, of this se upcoming season of clan battles. But that is the terrible. And also, this is basically a hybrid bid of concealment. So this is what I would run for a concealment build. But again, you'll be watching a lighthouse build, which I covered. So let's get into that replay. Now, oh, and consume camouflage wise, I forgot. Sorry about that. Well, after this, we'll get into the replay. Now, she does get with the. This is the stock camo, which you would buy if you don't have the collection that gives you the alternative camo. Uh, this is what it would come out to. But then you get this lighter color one, which I really do kind of like this light blue one. It's very pretty. And then if you wanted to pay for 2,000 doubloons, um, you can get the dazzling camo. But. I think you'll just, but this just looks very beautiful for French colors. And that is basically the Leterrible in a nutshell. So let's get into that replay and we'll show you how Katsuki does it. Good morning, good night, or good evening, everyone. This is Lord Holland and welcome to Roll Katsuki and the Leterrible, the Leterrible Tier 8 Premium French Destroyer. Now, this is part of the, now he, this is our review version of the Le Terrible because it is such a good match. First, let's make sure we have everything set up. Okay, everything, that's, that's right. Okay, so 
Rokatsuki, his team, Brandenburg, Flander, Baltimore, Nuevo de Julio, Fiji, and the Tier 6 Netherland cruiser with airstrike. Uh, Kiki Jujuin. So it'll be a very interesting match. As you all know, Katsuki has a very odd way of running his ships. So I'm curious to see what he runs with this ship. But Oterbo is probably one of the is like the fastest tier eight uh, destroyer out there. It is it does about 43 knots, 44 knots, without a speed boost, and it crosses the 50 mark with the speed boost. So it is great for back capping and stay on the flank. Okay, so he has Dazzler and Fearless Brawler on there. Dazzler basically gives 20% uh, enemy shell dispersion 15 seconds after you fire. And then Fearless Brawler gives 10% to your battery reload as long as you're detected. So I'll put that with the reload booster. It adds up. Yeah, he's going in for a... Now, these are only 8k torps, so he has to basically get close. Well, we're talking dangerously close. I'm curious to see if they hit them. Because he, uh, the, the Fusa will keep driving straight. Let's just hope they hit. Knowing him, they will hit. I just don't know how much damage. So let's watch Fuso's health. Torps look really good on it. Oh, someone just smacked it. Probably Flander or Brandenburg. Torps are good. Torps are good. And one, two, three. Yep. Three torps and it's gone. So he's up to 40,000 damage. And he is not detected so far. Doesn't mean that they're not coming south. I already know what he's going to do. He's going to go straight for the CV run. Now, as you all know, in my Raptor Rescue uh, attack guide for this DDs, I gave the DD the ability to really push out and attack. And Rokatsuki is practically doing the, well, the same strap. I do it this way because it allows the DD to be, have more fluid. It covers the CV's shortcomings and ensures that the slower ships can basically stay out and help protect the fleet while the DDs are out attacking more aggressively. Because if the DD takes out like three or two of the critical targets that threaten this rafter but dies, it still, it saves a lot of time. Yeah, he is, he is going straight for the CV. He can kill it. I just don't know how many torp tubes he's going to need. Because he also has two DDs he's got to kill. So, it's going to be interesting. And his speed boost is almost that. As you can see, it approaches about 52 knots without a speed flag. It goes to about 53 with a speed flag. Oh, he still has one engine boost left. Or engine boost two engine boosts, sorry. And four main battery reload boosters. So he's going to need all those reload boosters. But fortunately with Dazzler and everything, it allows him to basically charge it. Now the Southern CV hasn't been detected. So he's just able to go straight in. He's going balls in to torque the CV. Because the DDs haven't spawned yet. This is Raptor. Enemy aircraft carrier detected. Destroyer. Should it's cause the DDs to spawn. Hopefully, there's not one in front of them. According to reconnaissance data, one more enemy aircraft carrier is likely to remain in the combat zone. Seek and destroy. Okay, that's six torps on it. This and he gets another Raptor. third set of torps. Remember, these tourists have got to hit. If they don't hit, it don't go bye bye CV.
Okay, so that's all nine torque tubes added. Looks like four torques, so the second so that last set will kill the CV if, if even just one hits. Still two DDs unaccounted for though. Still has his reload booster. And this is engineer. All stations. I have equipment yep. One four pits. CV's gone. At a hundred thousand damage. Still. Oh, there's the other DD. And he basically has torp tubes ready and loaded. He doesn't even have to shoot anymore. He can just torp the damn thing. But he is choosing the gunboat it. And he doesn't have to use the reload booster because he out DPMs the Fubuki with with Fearless Brawler. For every like one shot that Fubuki shoots at him, he shoots like two shots at him. Oh, there's the other one. Enemy destroyer blown up. Now he still has all of his consumables locked and loaded. And he has the health advantage even without his reload booster. So, and that DD is just going to turn right back into him. So it's not like he has to worry. Some, oh, Fiji gets a good little hit on it. But that Southern CV, no one went for the Southern CV, so... Katsuki may get a really rare achievement here. And by achievement, I mean bragging rights. If he plays it right, he could go right... Oh, okay, so it's a D, it's a D1, E1 spawn. That helps the team a lot. So if Katsuki can squeeze by these cruisers and go straight through that channel right there in front of him, he can go and attack the Southern Sea Beat. He knows he's going to have to attack it, but it looks like his torp didn't hit the DD. The DD is literally right there. We can see it on the map. Fortunately, Baltimore shoots and picks it up. Now, he is at, like, almost half health. But he's at 100 and... Well... 21,000 and going up. AP loaded, he's gonna try to get the Citadel damage. Nope, doesn't arm. Just not broadside enough. Fiji picks up the Ayuba. Now he has basically a pure broadside on that. Yep, there's the first reload booster. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Is he gonna miss the torp? He misses the torp. And he's got the Citadel locked and loaded down, so his shells are just going to Citadel the hell out of it. Eight Citadel. Enemy cruiser foundered. Now the Flander is moving into attack. Now he is going in for a Torp Rush. Again, that Southern TV is still down there. Oh, is he gonna? Yeah, he's gonna miss his torch. Again, there's the Miyoko that spawns right in front of him. Engine boost deactivated. This is Raptor. Propulsion plant out of action. We're dead in the water. Time for repairs required. Need cover from Allied squadron. Dropping a smoke screen would make sense. 
It does look like Katsuki, and I didn't notice this till now. It does go is in a lighthouse build. Uh, Battleship DD. So he sacrifices the stealth. Six torps on the Amagi, and Amagi's gone. 223k. And those other sets are going to hit the Congo. Now he's shooting AP because he's practically broadside, so he can just chunk it, slowly chunk it down. Yeah, he should have this battleship. Oh, oh. Needed that other stuff to hit, but he does get Ray. Picks up that kill. His torps are basically reloaded, so he can go back in again. Puso is looking at him. One good shot from the Puso and his health disappears. But he decided to, he it looks like he was going to torp the Puso, or, but he decided to go for to help his cruiser buddy out. Ooh, gets real lucky there. Two torps, he's up to 291,000. Can he get the kill? Oh, Baltimore just snags it. He does have his high his engine boost. He's got two main he's got about two minutes to get down to that C V before the two enemy cruisers spawn in front of him. Fiji's going south. Flanders going south. They know that C V's still there. They need to kill that C V. This is Rector. There's a CV. Lander's shooting it. He's shooting AP into the side. Oh, Flander gets a beautiful Citadel damage on him. That helps a lot getting it down. There goes the reload booster plus Fearless Brawler. We're down to a point. Nine reload. That's a lot of a, a data. Looks like Flannery gets another good Citadel. That yeah, that's a neat. That's a dead CV. Kudos to Flander for picking that up. Good job, man. Good job, Mister. I died quick. Really good job. Thank you. So we basically got a five-star Raptor Rescue. And he's at 314k. He's got about mm, 40 seconds till the ship spawn. You can either choose to deal with the reinforcements or go for the DD. He's detected, so the DD is literally right in front of him. Again, you do see how the Laterable's DPM does kind of die off when that reload DPM. That is one of the downsides. Now, he should be able to get one ship on his own. He does have his reload booster. He can just reload booster it. Oh, he's going to go for it. He's going to be gutsy. Yep, he's got the target lock on it now, and he's just going to DPM it down. Oh, 14 Citadels. Nice. We destroyed an enemy cruiser. Three Citadels. Oh, running out of health here, folks.
Is he gonna live? Oh no! Luck runs out. I don't think he's gonna get the torp kill though. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. And he gets it! Natural selection! We've destroyed an enemy cruiser. 387k in a la terrible. 19 torpedoes, ray, natural selection, 9 kills, 25 citadels. Amazing, bloody amazing damage. I mean, I can't do this. But amazing damage. Beautiful. I mm, this was flawless. 13,000 more and he could have had 400k, but still a very beautiful match.